Yo guys, Dimani here with another video on Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. And today is the final day, guys. It looks like Deary is dropping tonight. Dairy Cow, as some of you might call her. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to be doing a full, complete unit analysis. You guys asked me to start doing these. You like it when I did it for the last characters. So we're going to start doing these for every character going forward. And we'll talk about the characters, their in and outs, and go a little bit more in-depth into their abilities, what they're good for, and if you should summon. All right, so uh, today's analysis. Uh, so I haven't been able to play my JP. I'll let me be honest. I don't play my JP account nearly as much as I play my global account. Um, so I haven't had... I kind of stopped playing global when Dariary came out. So I haven't had a whole lot of use for her. So I had my buddy Kuwasaki. Kuwasaki, big shout to you. Thank you for all the helpful info. So uh, he uses Dariary quite a bit. So he, he knows the ins and outs of this character and how OP Dariary is. Um, and there are two different dairy areas, guys. There's a red one and a green one. The green one will be going into the coin shop eventually. Um, so if you don't pull the green one, it's okay. Uh, the red one ha on JP has appeared in future banners. So if you don't summon today, don't worry. You'll have an opportunity to summon in the future, still pull the unit, and also uh, tickets, guys. She does go in that general ticket pool as well. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk. Man, there's so many ads on this page. Let's go ahead and talk about the units um, and why they're good, full unit analysis. And I'm actually gonna bring up my Discord DMs uh, here in a second. But so uh, first things first, her main attack skill. So inflicts damage equal to 600% attack on one enemy. 600% is a crap ton. That's Escanor numbers right there. So she does a lot, a lot of damage. Um, I love how much damage this unit does, and she is actually probably the fastest farmer for a lot of raids coming forward, and you pretty much need her, honestly. Okay, uh, so her second ability. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? For this, let's pull up the, the Discord DM, because I think it's going to be a little bit better here. So, uh, Red Deary, this is my DM, said Kuwasaki, so we're just going to go over each thing. Uh, her first ability, single target damage, 240, 360, and 600% six, damage is what we just talked about. Ability number two right here. Uh, so base stat buff for two, two, and three turns, uh, bronze, silver, and gold, guys. Uh, 20, 30, and 50%, the gold buffs her stats by 50% and can dodge attacks at silver and gold, can't dodge ults. So the fact that she can dodge attacks is really, really cool on top of that. I don't even know if that's listed in the card description. Hold on a second. Uh, increases, yeah, in grants in gains evasion for one turn. Okay, increases basic stats by 50% for three turns and gains evasion for one turn is what the second ability does. All right, all right, so next, uh, her ult is single target amplified damage 630, 693. She goes all up to 945%, um, additional 30% buff. Her passive attack stack by 10% when Deary Eerie uses a skill goes away if you don't use any of her abilities. So this is where the RNG of the character happens, but if you're able to pull Deary Eerie cards, you can literally get her I don't think I don't think there's a limit to this attack stat. So I've seen her ult for like two, three million damage, like absurd numbers. Let me see right here. Increase attack by 10%. There is a limit of 10 times, up to 100%. Increase attack by 10% when the hero uses a skill. The buff goes away when no skills are used on the turn. So every turn uh, that goes by, she can go. She goes up 10% every time she uses a card. Um, this can be easily countered in PvP, mind you, as long as you CC the unit um, or you stop her from using her abilities. Uh, it will definitely get rid of that passive and it puts a halt on her. So uh, for PvP aspect, I mean PvE, that's amazing, uh, especially for raids. But PvP, that's like a double-edged sword, if that makes sense. All right. Um, so next part here. Um, commandment passive decreases range attacks by 30% allies and enemies. Um, this one's like kind of eh. Uh, you're not really going to use any ranged units on Crim you, pretty much you can, you can use Deary on Crimson and Red Demon uh, for raiding. Uh, you're not going to use Deary for Gray Demon, so I, I wouldn't really worry about that too much in PvP. That is something definitely to note. Don't bring ranged units. Okay, so gear. On her, uh, you want attack and defense with attack, defense, and HP in the substats. Her crit chance is low, 5%, so go full attack, defense, HP on the reroll stats. Um, don't, uh, I mean, if you want CP, run HP defense, uh, but for awesome, awesome numbers, I already have an attack, defense, HP set made for her uh, for when she comes out. She should be getting a UR gear set as well when she drops, so I'm hoping that's the case, but 
I will definitely be URing a full set of eight uh, attack and defense gear for Deary. That's how much I like the unit. And plus, she's naked like all the time, so but there's there's that. Okay, uh, what she's good for. Ungeared and geared PvP, Red Demon, Crimson Demon, farming to an extent because AI never uses her step up unless you switch it to defense. I did not know that, so that's a good uh, point that Kuwasaki pointed out. Uh, pros, she's a nuker. Her passive lets her stack attack buffs, uh, so you get tons of damage and demons and guild bosses. Oh, I never even thought about using her for guild boss. Rank 2 stat buff lets her dodge abilities just like the SR Aaron. She can basically solo bosses by herself. And I've seen the numbers, guys. She does insane, insane damage. She is a staple on Crimson and Red Demon. She basically replaces Slater. She replaces Demon Melly like that good, okay? So if you raid a lot, this is kind of like what determines that, like if it's a summon or not for you. If you raid a lot and you like to like grind out this event, you need Dariari, okay? All right. So cons, counting her is pretty easy in the beginning. Stun, petrify, freeze, attack, assuming those can stop her uh, in her tracks. But at the moment she has a silver buff, it's kind of tough to stop her because she dodges all attacks. She's a glass cannon, so low HP, but high attack. Reminds me of Jericho quite a bit. Overall, she's a really solid unit to have. High damage, her buff, buff ability is really good, especially for PvP. If you want to get, uh, if you want to, Want to test damage number? She's the one to do it with. Great with UR gear and uh, at high SA. Mine's at five six. Ten star JP only. <laughs> only use. <screw. laughs> I should have read that first. Uh, she hits like a dump truck. So uh, she she's an amazing unit. Uh, she's gonna do a ton of damage. If you like big PP numbers, she's definitely the unit to have. All right. She's on part. Oh, she's on part two of the ticket. So if you don't get her now, she'll be in the uh, the part two GSSR pool. We mentioned that. Uh, she goes to the Ten Commandments banner uh, whenever that comes out, and uh, and the Lasva Bane Meliodas banner. She does not go in the coin shop, so this is not a coin shop unit. The red one is not a coin shop unit. I repeat, I get this question a lot. The red one is not a coin shop unit ever. Well, maybe, well, not yet on JP. Okay, like I know sometimes they throw random units at us at the coin shop, but uh, never been in, uh, in the coin shop at all. All right, all right. So let's talk about Green Deer Eerie. Um. This one is definitely the lesser of the two. Uh, you might use her a little bit in PvP, but let's go take a look at the card. Uh, over here in Discord, I hope I pull both for the outfits, honestly, and I will be buying all the outfits for Deriri. Uh, so Darkness Hand inflicts damage to equal 450% uh, of attack. Uh, on one of me, it depletes three ultimate gauge, so kind of like a Merlin attack here. The one thing I do like about this, though, um, on her bronze, she still depletes one ultimate gauge. There's not many units that do that, so I like that aspect of the Green Barrier. Uh, so second ability, Leap Shock inflicts damage to equal to 150% attack on uh, She's AoE and fills ultimate uh, ultimate move gauge, so almost like Escanor, you know, like on the silver, uh, but it's an AoE attack, so it's, it's a little bit different. Um, combo Star inflicts amplified damage equal to... Okay, amplified damage, damage built through for sure. Buff on self, damn. Okay, uh, Selfish Power. Uh, ultimate move gauge will not be filled when enemy move skills applies when entering the battle. Uh, that's stupid for PvP. It's a stupid annoying. Uh, it's only for enemies too, so it doesn't hurt yourself. Her commandment decreases the damage dealt by ranged attacks of allies and enemies in PvP by 35%, so the same commandment ability as the Red Deary. The passive is quite different. That and Mod Speed together, it's kind of weird that they work together that way. But if you run them both, the in like the enemy is running an ult gauge, you know, like rush, you're gonna stop that. Only problem is the current meta right now is mono red. So if you were to try to bring this, you'd probably take quite a bit of damage. All right. Um, so let's see what he said about Green Deer E. Uh, the ins and outs of her single damage. We got that ult gauge. Uh, single target amplified damage. K passive. Ult gauge won't fill enemy's cards. Commandment. All right, so we talked about all this stuff. What she's good for is ungeared and geared PvP. So almost basically a PvP unit, Kuwasaki says. Uh, pro, she can be useful in PvP and tough in PvE fights. You can use her with Mon Speed's commandment in PvP. We just talked about that. Um, and it'll be a nightmare. Uh, revents ultimate move gauge from filling through skills use in PvP. Applies in both allies and enemies when entering battle. Overall, she doesn't stand out too much. Good kit for PvP. So if you grab PvP pretty hard, she's one to be considered picking up. She is a coin shop unit. So if you get Red Deary in the first multi and you don't plan on SA6ing, I would just stop summoning. Red Deary is what you're going for. This unit is a coin shop unit. Um, I'm hoping I don't pull the green one. I'm hoping I pull the red one. Uh, my budget right now is probably up to about 500 gems in order to try to pull Red Deary. 
I'm not sure what else is gonna be on the banner. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much uh, uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the full unit analysis. Uh, let me know if you're summing or not, if you're saving for Lost Vein, well, because she returned on Lost Vein. I wanna know what you guys' overall opinions are. Uh, yeah, light it up in the comments, guys. I love you so much, and thank you so much if you subscribed, and thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Laters.